night I've been sitting here for about 10 minutes um, just trying to get a good start on my drawing looking at my bird feeder and the tree behind it you can see that I've started to you know throw down some values and getting some detail in the trunk of the tree as well I've worked out those ovals try to get some values in uh, the bird feeder itself so that I can uh, start adding some detail there but what I wanted to do really quick is just show you kind of how I'm working on this trunk there's a lot of texture in that trunk but when you look at that trunk there's a really a nice strong you know dark shadow here and some really nice lights over here I want to get a nice dark value here but I also want to add some of that texture that I see uh, in in the trunk as well so what I'm doing first of all is just throwing down a gray value and a pretty dark one at that because this whole side of the, the trunk is really quite dark so you remember the impressionists weren't about all the detail they were about uh, a quick impression of what they were looking at so I'm going to throw down a nice quick value just leave those textures there I kind of like those textures actually and then I'm going to start to add you know a little bit darker shaded area that represents the uh, shape and direction of the bark and just try to keep it a little loose I don't want to worry about too much detail I'm more concerned about texture and value so how dark does that need to be and what kind of textures can I create that look like bark I think those are kind of fun right there you know looking at this branch back here you know going back to my tree that branch has a nice little um, splash of a highlight on there where the sun's hitting it so I want to try to get that into my drawing as well and I've left it kind of light but I know I can push these values a little bit darker those dark values will make those light values really stand out and if I get too um, dark with my values then obviously I can come in here with my eraser lighten some things up and then um, again add some of that bark texture to it as well I also want this branch to look really round and three-dimensional so I'm going to make sure I've got some lines that that show the curve of the branch as well and we'll just kind of keep playing with it like that and I look at the, the the bird feeder itself and there's a nice dark side there's a nice little highlight right there and some shadow so I really want to capture that as well and make it look like um, where, to make sure I, I know where the light is coming from. So I'm going to darken up that shadow side a little bit more. And then where those seeds are, I'm just going to make quick indications. There's kind of some dark seeds and some light seeds, so I'll kind of draw those darker seeds, the sunflower seeds. A little bit darker. Make this shadow side a little darker. Then underneath here, it does get quite a bit darker, but there is a little bit of a rim that's a little bit lighter. So I really want to pay attention to my values, my lights and darks, and just try to capture those. So again, we look at that bird feeder and you can see that little bit of a rim, maybe hopefully. Yeah, a little bit of a rim around there so I'm just gonna keep playing with this I'll probably spend another um, you know 20 or 30 minutes out here drawing then I'll take it into my studio and finish it up <laughs> 